As a healer, you're exposed to immense responsibility and stress, especially if you are a surgeon. As a maxillofacial and oral surgeon specialist, Dr. Varushka Jose Bryant assists patients whose injuries or illnesses affect their ability to speak, eat, breathe, and interact with the world. Despite the pressure of her practice, she is adamant about treating every patient as an individual human being. And Kriya spent a day with her to discover how she focuses on healing while maintaining her own well-being. The doctor had invited Kriya to make a house call. Sometimes even a doctor has to change their lifestyle to live a little healthier. Dr. Varushka Jose Bryant has done just that, at the same time as being a leading maxillofacial surgeon, not only in South Africa, but in the world. Varushka's husband Richard is also a maxillofacial surgeon, and the couple make a point of starting the morning with meditation and exercise in preparation for the demands of the working day. Varushka, Richard, how are you? Hi, Kriya. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having me today. Welcome to our home. I see that you guys are in the middle of your morning routine. Tell me a little bit about it and how did it come about? We started because Richard had had some health problems a few years ago and it was us being very proactive about it. Getting some exercise in, doing some biokinetics, which you were coached on by a biokineticist. Why is it so important that you keep up with this routine? I've noticed I've lost a lot of weight. I have more energy. I can get up earlier in the morning and we can do meditation. Was it very easy for you to adapt to it? It was a little bit hard initially. No, we, yeah. we, we both are not necessarily morning people, but we became morning people as a result. You've made a food change as well. That's right. We have gone whole food plant-based for the past three years. Richard, and I know you've prepared something special for us this morning. Indeed. It's one of my favorite meals. It's entirely whole food plant-based, and I'm going to go and get ready. Great. We'll see you in there. Bye. So, Varushka, with you both being doctors, was it very easy for you to make the change and did you go for any professional training? I think we're lucky in that we can understand the scientific literature that's been published and there is a wealth of evidence that supports these changes in lifestyle. And there is this overwhelming move towards plant-based diets. There is an overwhelming move towards gaining core strength, doing functional exercises and meditation. I'm going to go change out of the sweaty rag and then I'll meet you and Richard downstairs. Varushka and Richard love traveling, not only for relaxation, but also as a way of constantly broadening their horizons. And this is reflected in their style of cooking. Richard, this is looking great so far. You did the lifestyle change due to a health issue. Tell me a little bit more about it. In March of this year, I had a heart attack. I initially ignored it as a bout of indigestion and it was only diagnosed about two days afterwards. I'm not a, a classical heart attack patient. I'm slim, I'm trim, I exercise, but I think it's a lesson for males that are in their 40s and 50s. Take those signs seriously and go and see your doctor. So what are some of the symptoms that you need to look out for? Typically, radiating tight band around your abdomen, tightness in the chest, but that's not all. You can get heartburn, but the key indicator is pain down your left arm. Time is of the essence because these things kill younger and younger and younger, younger people. Well, I definitely want to get started on breakfast and I can hear Varushka. <laughs> So you're going to be doing the cooking for us today? I am. What we're going to be doing today is a very quick, very easy to make egg-free frittata. Instead of egg, we're going to use chickpea flour. And here we've got some curry powder. We've got some stock, black pepper, some turmeric, onion powder, granulated garlic powder, and some smoked paprika, and some nutritional yeast. It makes everything taste like manna from heaven. So we're going to mix all the dry ingredients. We're going to put these ingredients in, a little bit of our curry powder in. We're going to mix all those ingredients together. Get your water out. We're going to very slowly mix that up. When you've got a decent runny, but not too runny batter, then you're done. We can turn on the heat. We're going to spray a little bit of oil into the pan. A very useful tip for those of you who want to cut down on the amount of oil you're putting into your food is to put your oil into a spray bottle and you get to use very little oil. You're going to throw in a little bit of cumin and a little bit of mustard seeds. And we're going to let that toast a little. It's the perfect temperature when the mustard seeds start popping. Now we can add the batter. We're going to let it cook very slowly and as it cooks, I'm going to turn down that heat a little. I'm going to add some tomatoes. In goes your spinach while things are still wet. And we can throw our corn in. 
and we're just going to let that cook through. We're going to want to turn this over and there it is, voila. That looks perfectly done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it out. Voila, that looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to try it. Fantastic, let's give it a whirl. Smells divine. Well, let's dig in. Thank you very much. And it actually looks and feels like a proper frittata. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm done and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Cool, baby, see you later. Mm. Creepy. So besides being an amazing chef, you're actually a doctor as well. And a surgeon. <laughs> so I cut things up for a living. And you have your very own practice. I do, and we're going to head over there now. So if you'd like to join me. I'd love to. Let's go. The daughter of a teacher, Varushka did not come from a privileged background and had to build a career with hard work, grit and determination. After completing her medical studies at WITS, she underwent a further five years of full-time postgraduate training at the Johannesburg Academic Hospital and Chris Hani Barokwanath. Tell me a little bit more about maxilla facial surgery. It is a discipline devoted in its entirety to disorders of the craniofacial region, the head and neck, and the oral cavity. It is the smallest of all surgical specialities, meaning we have the fewest surgeons in that speciality. There are less than 100 in the country. How did you get into this field? My career path has very much been influenced by my life. And what I learned from a very early age is about the vulnerability of others. Some of that is related to the fact that I have a severely mentally handicapped brother. I think I was drawn to a discipline that fixed problems. What would a typical day in your life be like? Some of the not so glamorous work is really a lot of paperwork. The rest of the stuff, which everyone loves to hear about, is we get to operate. And because we're working in the face, we deal with everything from trauma, tumors, developmental anomalies, all the way through to your very run-of-the-mill basic oral surgery. We take out your wisdom teeth, we cut them out of your jaw, and we do things like implant rehabilitation, so putting in implants into your jaw. For all the young South Africans that are thinking of getting into medicine, what advice would you have for them? I think you have to do it for the right reasons. You do this because you love it, knowing it's going to take up a lot of your life, and if you're not prepared to make those life sacrifices, it's not a fast path to riches. Well, I definitely don't want to keep you. Thank you for spending time with me today. I have an emergency to rush off to, unfortunately, so I'm going to say bye-bye. Bye, and thank you very much for coming through. Please go for it. Thank you. <laughs> Just goes to show that there's never a boring day in the life of a doctor. Varushka goes from changing little things in her life to making big changes in the lives of others. Hello.